welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. We have a super fun video today. We are going to do some Valentine's Day baking. We are making cookies dipped in white chocolate covered in sprinkles. What could be better than that for Valentine's Day? And what's even better? They're WW friendly, they're low smart points, and they're absolutely delicious. So if you're looking for a great WW friendly Valentine's dessert, just keep watching. For our Valentine's baking series, we are going to be making white chocolate dipped sugar cookies with sprinkles. You guys, these are so fun, so gorgeous, and so perfect for Valentine's Day. And wait until you see the smart points for a full sized cookie dipped in white chocolate. So let me show you what's in this year's Valentine sugar cookies. You're going to need some flour, sugar alternative of your choice, monk fruit is my favorite, white chocolate chips, alternative sugared would be great, such as these Baked Believe. You can pick these up at your local Walmart, and these are absolutely delicious. They are stevia sweetened, so we're gonna be using those. You'll need some sprinkles, so I went ahead and picked up some pink ones, some red food coloring, almond extract, light butter, and maraschino cherries. So let's get started on these cookies. The first thing we're going to do for our cookies is do our dry ingredients. So I have two and a half cups here of all purpose flour. And then we're also going to add half of a cup of, I'm using the monk fruit sweetener, but you would add whatever sweetener alternative that you choose to use. You're just going to want to give this just a quick stir. You want that sugar to be incorporated pretty good in with the flour. And then we are going to cut in one cup of light butter. So I'm going to do little spoonfuls of butter into my flour and then I'm just going to cut it in with my spoon and that'll create that crumbly dough. Standing on the porch in the night thinking how we used to be way back in time once you've cut in your butter, you can see that we're getting a dough consistency here of our mix. So what I have here is two ounces of maraschino cherries. I did dry them and cut them in fours just so that we get a little bit of cherry in all of the cookies. And then I measured out on my food scale six ounces of the white chocolate chips. This is actually a lot. And we're just going to add a little bit of the white chocolate chips to our batter. Not much because we want to keep the majority of it for melting because we are going to be dipping these cookies in white chocolate. How fun. So I'm going to give this just another quick stir. I just want those white chocolate chips and those cherries to get a little bit more incorporated. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and add in our almond extract. And it's about a half of a teaspoon. So I am not going to put very much in at all. And then again, another stir. Make sure that almond extract gets mixed thoroughly through so you don't get a big punch of almond extract in one single cookie. And then if you want, it is optional, you can add some red food coloring if you want to color your dough. And I am going to do that. I think that's gonna be pretty fun for Valentine's Day. So I'm just gonna drop in some red food coloring and then give my dough another mix. And then we're ready to get this into cookie shapes and get these into the oven. Go ahead and pull out your cookie sheet, line it with some parchment paper. Here's our dough. It looks so pretty. It has that little titch of red from that food coloring. And we're gonna start rolling out our cookies. And we don't want them, we want them about an inch or so big of a ball or three quarters of an inch of a ball. So this is about the size that we're going for with our cookies. And look at how pretty that looks with that food coloring. And then we're just gonna go ahead and put that here on our cookie sheet. And we're gonna repeat that until we have goal 24 cookies. But let's see how many, I've never made these before. So let's kind of see how many we can get out of a batch. Barefoot on the grass, open skies I can feel it every time I close my eyes My eyes 
once you've rolled out your cookies, look at these, yum, they're so pretty. You're gonna go ahead and take a paper plate with some of your sweetener on there and you're going to need a glass. And what we're going to do is dip the glass here in the sugar and then we're gonna use it to flatten out our cookies so that we get that nice circular shape when they bake in the oven. I have the oven preheating at 350 degrees and then we'll be ready to throw these in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes until they're cooked through. The first batch of cookies is out of the oven. It took about 10 minutes in my oven to get these cooked. They're perfect. They're not brown or anything on the bottom. They're absolutely perfect. So we're gonna let these cool. The second batch is in the oven. So let's get the chocolate melty white chocolate dip ready. So in a small saucepan, I have two teaspoons of light butter. To that, I'm going to add the rest of those white chocolate chips. And we are going to let this just melt down. And basically it's going to make a white chocolate dipping sauce for our cookies. And then we'll be ready to dip them in, add some pink sprinkles, and we have a Valentine's Day cookie. All right, so I've started to dip my cookies. I wanted to see kind of how I wanted to do it. So you're gonna take your cooled cookie. Here in my bowl, I have the melted down white chocolate, butter, and a little bit of milk. And we're gonna go ahead and dip our cookie in. We want about it half covered with the white chocolate mix. And then I'm gonna set it aside for just a couple of minutes. Let that start to dry or harden a little bit before we dip it into the sanding sugar. And I just have this Wilton sprinkles. And you guys, look how pretty this is. It actually has this fun iridescent to it. Once it's sat for just a few seconds, you're gonna go ahead and pick up your half dipped cookie. And we're just gonna roll it in the sanding sugar to get the look that you like. And look at that, you guys, how fun is this? Now you can color your white chocolate. You could add a little bit extra of the red food coloring to your white chocolate and color that as well. But look, how fun are these cookies dipped in that fun pink sanding sugar. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of this batch dipped while my other batch is in the oven. Standing on the porch in the night Thinking how we used to be way back in time In time Barefoot on the grass, open skies I can feel it every time I close my eyes My eyes, yeah can you So here are our cookies, you guys. They turned out so good. Look at how adorably adorable these are with the white chocolate and the cherries, a little bit of red food coloring, dip it in a little white chocolate and some bright pink, pink glittery sprinkles and you have a gorgeous Valentine's Day cookie. So my recipe did make 24 cookies. One cookie is four smart points. So not bad at all, you guys, because these are pretty good sized cookies and they have white chocolate, maraschino cherries, and they're dipped in white chocolate and sugar. So you can't beat it for four smart points. So happy Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoy making this recipe with your loved ones. Thank you for joining me on today's Valentine's Bake With Me. I hope you enjoyed seeing this sugar cooker cookie recipe. So good, you guys. My husband loved them, and he doesn't even like sweets, so he absolutely loved them. Such a great thing to take to help you stay on track when you're attending all of those Valentine's Day celebrations. Great to make with your kids. Just an overall fun Valentine's Day treat. So if you're new to my channel, make sure you're checking out the description box. The recipe is linked down there, along with all of the discount codes and links to some of my favorite things that I love sharing with you guys so that you can indulge in some fun new things on your WW journey. Also in the description box is the link to my Facebook group. We'd love it if you'd come over and join the 14,000 members that are supportive, caring, and amazing, amazing people that are here to support you and help answer your questions. Such a great place to be. So head on over and join us there. Also, if you're new, welcome. Make sure you hit that little subscribe button and the bell. That way you're just notified whenever I upload something new. I'd love to have you join my YouTube friends and family. Thumbs up this video if you're all about the Valentine's baking. And of course, comment down below. Let me know if you're going to try this out for this year's Valentine's Day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Valentine's Day from my family to yours. 
and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys! What's it like to be the one that he turns to when he stops?